Hmm. Surface conditions are looking good. Just input these coordinates. And the scale looking good. Yep. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just uh, doing some important science. You see, the surface of Mars is not going to make itself habitable. That's why it's going to be important for us to continue building out this base and um, ignore the lack of airlock right now. Don't worry, I got my mask on, which is fine anyway, because this base does not have oxygen generation even attached to it yet. So that is going to be one of the things in this episode, oxygen generation and food. In the last episode, we installed this fusion reactor, which is up and running, very active. And um, on the way other side of the base, far away from the noisy rumbling fusion reactor, we have also installed the crew's quarters and recreation room. So we have a way to power the base and we have a way to recharge ourselves as human beings. But um, what, what use is recharging yourself if you can't breathe? or eat. Sleep is not the only thing that gives us energy and the ability to do things and live. So I'm looking at a couple of oxygen generation facilities and a couple of greenhouses to hopefully add onto this base here. And I think that'll give us a pretty good starting point to get our base situated, which will then allow us to start exploring a little bit because so far we've just been kind of sticking around here and building this base out, but I want to do an exploration episode soon as well. So let's take a look at some of these creations. First up, we have modular Mars base greenhouse by B for the end. All right, so here it is from the outside. The walls have been repurposed for windows, which I think is useful for a greenhouse style build. And it looks like there is also glass in the ceiling here. Okay, that turns on like the normal overhead lights. What about, oh, okay, here we go. We got a temperature control, it looks like. All right, so that turns on the orange lights or the heat lamps. What if I do this? Whoa, oh. What? This is, I, I understand. Water is supposed to be happening right now, but there appears to be something weird happening. I think like they're up in the ceiling here, and I don't know if it's happening different in my world than it, was, than it happened in the uh, creator's world, but I see some sprinkles coming down here out of these ones, which is actually pretty cool, but it's only happening in those. There must be some weird particle thing happening. I wonder if that's a glitch on my end or not. But um, I think I think we understand the point. There's actually a built-in sprinkler system. I also just noticed that all of the all of these uh, plant boxes are actually facing towards the windows, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, these are pretty cool. Oh, that's a really cool use of the vacuum pipe piece, having this tube here. That's pretty cool. And there's some water buckets that are actually filled with water. Oh, this one isn't filled with water. This one is filled with water, interesting. All right, we can turn the temperature back down. I like that there's that temperature uh, indicator for when we turn it up and down. And then, yeah, the blue one stands for water. Oh, and of course, we got cactuses in the desert, in a desert environment as well. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is one of the greenhouses. Now, this is another greenhouse, which has a bit of a different aesthetic as far as the material used, which I'm assuming it was built to be able to be attached to the, mo to the uh, modular base. So this is by JJJ Lucky. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, this one definitely has a lot more glass in it. Oh, and a very different type of door as well. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. All right, let's see. What is, oh, we have a, a vehicle here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Do I get, do I actually get in this? What? What is this? Oh, oh, this is actually pretty cool. So it looks like I can go down these very, very thin aisles and then <laughs> I can go up and look at uh, these hanging plants on the ceiling. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. All right, man, look at all these lights and everything. All right, this one's a lot more straightforward. I do like the double level of it. The hanging plant is actually a really nice touch. I do like that. And it looks like we got fruit and veggie boxes where we could pack away the produce and stuff for food production. This one appears to have a lot simpler of a layout. Really nice touch with the vehicle though. So then I have one more greenhouse thing to look at and that was actually the original greenhouse that came with this, um, this base setup. So by AJX40, I actually couldn't find an isolated version of this greenhouse, so, so I'm just gonna chop it off of the base kit here. Okay, so here's what we're looking at for this one. We can definitely see the uh, pipe system here. Uh, let me see, there must, oh yeah, the switch is way, way in the back. There we go. So one of the unfortunate things that I've realized with um, how these worlds work is that any switches that are in the world, when you respawn in the world, they get turned back to a default off position. So things like the fusion reactor, 
and things like these would um they're gonna be turned off every single time i load back into the world which is kind of unfortunate so keep that in mind in the future if you guys have some missions that are pretty much supposed to just be always on it might be better to build that in with logic that is just always on rather than having to manually push a switch every single time but it appears that the switch in this one turns on a bunch of heat lamps um, also these uh, mock sprinklers start going and we got these fans going as well There also seems to be two separate types of rooms here with a divider in between So we have like the grass stuff up here and then we have a bunch of various other plans back here All right, so i'm actually curious about something here I want to put that first one I looked at uh with the sprinklers in it right next to this one I want to see the size difference between these two and how they look next to each other because I have an idea Oh, wow, that's actually really interesting for some reason, I thought that this one was actually bigger than this one, but this one is actually bigger. This one's longer. And then, of course, you got this third one, which is also pretty massive. Um, but if I'm looking at all three of them next to each other, I think aesthetically, I think this one is matching the aesthetic I have in my mind of uh, what a greenhouse attached to this base would look like. So I'm going to add this one to the base, but big shout out to these awesome submissions as well. Thank you guys for submitting those. So now up next is oxygen generation. I'm actually going to be putting these in the same area because I feel like a greenhouse and an oxygen generation facility are somewhat related. The greenhouse does also have to do with food production, but plants generate oxygen as well. So if they're near each other, we could use the re you could we could use the logic that the oxygen generation room is also utilizing spare oxygen generated from the greenhouse too. So we looked at this one before. I'll probably look at that again just to compare it to these new ones. So this is oxygen generation room by Suniv2. All right, here we go what are we looking at in here looks like we got some fuel stuff we got some plant boxes all right what is this uh oh well i mean it's probably not uh oh okay I, they looked like they were gonna spin but i wasn't 100 percent sure that's danger these these should be covered up shouldn't they all right this is gonna do something different oh that's cool now these things are spinning oh wait what okay what is i gotta like figure out what's going on here all right and then these are it looks like some type of pump here that's pretty cool i don't know anything about actual oxygen generation so what is this oh and there's like sensors it's triggering sensors as it goes around are they hooked into anything one of these sensors is hooked into something oh these sensors that's kind of cool these sensors are what is triggering these uh pistons all right I like there's just plants on the side of this. Oh, look at the cable uh, cover. That, that's actually pretty clever. So you can walk over the cable easily. Uh, but yeah, this this seems dangerous. You're just walking right out into. Oh, yep. See, that's dangerous. We need some we need some like safety rails around this thing or something. All right. So um, I'd love to explain to you exactly what's going on and how the oxygen is being generated. But um, this doesn't have a description, and I, I'm not in charge of this. This is for the the oxygen generationist. That, that, that's his job. All right, I'm just gonna keep that one spawned in so we can kind of compare and contrast next to each other. So this one's interesting. Uh, I don't know what it's like inside here, but this is an oxygen j production building with an exit by HH370. It looks very, very small. So I'm curious, I, I can't see what's in here from the actual uh, workshop thing. So I actually have to go in and see it myself. Uh, all right, oh, it looks like this one already has an airlock attached, which is which is convenient, that's nice. But what is in here though? Is there actual oxygen gen- Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. I thought this was ground for a second. It's actually, uh, it's plants. Oh, this is interesting. This is very different than what I was expecting. So it looks like we got a bunch of UV lamps, a sprinkler system, and some water. So this is like kind of similar to like the greenhouse idea, um, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get enough oxygen from just these blades of grass down here. But a very, very simple approach to it for sure. And then of course we have the original one that I looked at, which uh, it's still yelling at me. So this one has this big pipe over here, lots of empty space inside and um, an air conditioner. So yeah, I think of these three, um, I think this one is gonna be a lot better for the base. It is not, it is much smaller, but a lot more compact and filled with, you know, the mechanical stuff to make it interesting and look cool. Looks like ox oxygen generation is actually happening here. 
Might have to deal with this safety hazard at some point though, or just like, you know, don't come in here. Just let it do its thing. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take this oxygen generation room and um, I'm gonna put it in its own area. And I'm also gonna have two of those greenhouses on either side of the oxygen generation room here. And that way, not only will it be symmetrical, but it'll also just be kind of like, it's able to pull oxygen from both sides into the oxygen generation room. So it makes sense to me that the, uh, the actual generation facility would be in between the greenhouses. So let's uh, figure out how to build this thing out here. So let's look at the layout of our base right now. So what we have going on right now, I am standing on top of the main hub and then we have this going out to the fusion reactor. And then this side is the cruise quarters. So I'm thinking this is gonna be like doubling as food production and oxygen production. So I think that should have its own kind of wing, I guess. This is gonna be like the recreation crew wing. This is gonna be the energy generation if we have any other types of like energy thing to put. And then over off in this direction, we're gonna have food and oxygen. All right, so time to start building out this way. So uh, this is why for now, this is why I have all of this just kind of levitating here. I am, like I said before, I am planning on putting legs and stuff that make it look like it's actually on the ground. But as I build out here, you can see the ground is actually lifting up. So if I put all of that directly on the ground, I would end up getting stuck on the terrain and not able to build out anymore. And I actually am getting a little bit concerned that I didn't weld it high enough. I hope I can build out to this because that's gonna make things a little bit difficult if I can't. All right, so now I gotta build the cross connector here because we're going to have to, ooh, that is close. Am I gonna be able to do this? Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on a second here. Let me just see if I can, please. <gasps> oh, oh, that is so close. Is that like touching the ground, do you think? That must be touching the ground as well. All right, but um, this is where I'm gonna weld the actual oxygenation room. And then we have this cross connector so I can build out to the greenhouses on the side as well. But I think we just narrowly chose the right height for this base. Oh no, it's not working. It's actually not letting me, I can weld it one block higher. Oh, we are one block off. You know what, it must be, it's the, it's the stuff underneath. We don't need all this stuff underneath. I'm actually going to have to delete these, which I think shouldn't really affect the aesthetic of it at all. This is exactly why I built the, uh, the original hub so far off the ground was because I wanted to avoid this issue. All right, there we go. I've cleared that all out. So, I mean, it looks fine. So now I should be able to weld it here. Yes, good, good, good. And if you look underneath, yep, we just got narrowly enough space underneath there. All right, whew, that was close. I thought we weren't gonna be able to do that for a second. All right, so now from the main hub here, it goes straight down this long corridor, straight to the oxygenation room. And by the way, I am gonna start color coding. At some point, I'm gonna color code these hallways and change this red color to different colors uh, designated for each uh, section of the base. I don't know what colors to do yet. So let me know right now. We have the fusion reactor We have the food production oxygen production area and we have the uh, recreation sleeping cruise quarters area So let me know what colors you think each one should end up being okay So now we need to build out to a greenhouse on either side and I hope I don't run into that issue with the greenhouses now Okay, so I think I might be able to just go straight into a T intersection right here and I'm hoping that is there's I'm hoping that there's gonna be enough room and that this greenhouse isn't gonna be too wide to fit there Let me see. Oh, we got white All right, that's looking like it's working. Okay, let's do a quick check on how this is looking. How's the gap? Oh, look at that. That's like that's almost perfect. Can I walk through this? Oh, look at that. That is actually perfect. It's like it's made for my character. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. Put another one right over here. Oh, the ground looks like it gets higher over here. I'm a little bit concerned about this side now. All right, so that is, oh, I did make the mistake again. All right, so T intersection gets welded there and it looks like it's in line with the bottom of this. So it's, hopefully it's not gonna be an issue. All right, is it gonna give us white? Yes, look at that. All right, this should be perfectly symmetrical now. Let me go ahead and hop on the lift and take a look here. Look at that. So this gives us greenhouse and oxygenation all in one wing over here. I feel like there is something extra that can be put over here. Like just maybe some like industrial stuff that attaches to the back of this oxygenation thing. And maybe I can like lead some pipes over to uh, this. Like this looks like an area where it's extracting oxygen 
from the greenhouse itself. So like I could have this end up leading into the back of this as well. So it just kind of simulates the function of pumping it out of the actual greenhouses, which would be kind of interesting. All right, and then real quick, let me put on zero G and uh, take a look at what this looks like from the outside now. All right, look at that. Base is starting to come together now. What should be in this direction? We have like one more wing left well, i mean we, we could we could branch off as many directions as we want to pretty much because like i left myself a lot of wiggle room we can branch off that way or that way we can branch off that way and that way that way and that way and as well from the main hub there too so let me know what you think should be in that direction off of the main hub and then in the next episode what kind of adventure do you think we should go on we have oxygen and food now so should we go on a mining adventure should we go on an exploratory, just scouting adventure? Should we do some type of volcano thing, an oil extraction, maybe? There's oil fields over there that we can go ahead and check out. Or maybe not oil fields necessarily, but um, some type of material. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This will, this is a very community-driven series, so I will be looking at the comments to see uh, what you guys are interested in seeing in it next. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can see on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.